Uh, Andy, can you just explain the situation that Takasar Albion finds itself in? Yeah, due to the floods, uh, which unfortunately have caused our uh, clubhouse to have significant issues with water coming through the roof and uh, coming through the floor, we need to now raise uh, quite a bit of money to try and re renovate the facility. Uh, we've estimated it's probably in excess of £40,000 and we just don't have any spare rev reserves of cash. Yeah. Obviously you had a flood last month and that's where all the funds for this sort of thing happened and now you uh, started a Just Giving page? Yeah, we've uh, put a Just Giving page out there to try and raise, uh, raise some donations. We've also got a meeting with the County FA and the Football Foundation next week to try and tap into their reserves. What's the support been like from the football community and the community of Tadcaster as a whole? Uh, support from football community has been really, really good. Uh, but there have been some various comments on, on social media from local people and, and I suppose nationally about why don't we move. Uh, one of the challenges is we tried to move, nobody would sell us any land. It's a lot more difficult than it is just finding a football pitch elsewhere, I guess. It is, yeah. We've got to meet certain criteria for the... Uh, the league that we're in, we've got to have a perimeter fence, we've got to have obviously changing rooms, uh, facilities to provide hot food, areas for officials, floodlights and a lot more. Uh, Tadcaster was hit with a big flood in 2015, the bridge broke, has anything like from that experience helped to sort of figure this one out five years later on? Uh, I think we're probably more resilient that we uh, were preparing. Uh, last time it came over the top of the bar, which was probably about about this height, the clubhouse that we're in now. So, you know, we're, we're just doing whatever we can. Yeah. And obviously, Leeds United play here. Have they got in touch at anything at all? We've been in touch with Leeds United uh, last week and they're actually looking to see what they can do for us. Yeah. And obviously, you mentioned outside that the under-23 matches that they have there, obviously not going to be able to play so that's a big impact on the club yeah it's significant impact with, with revenue um, we've only got two matches of our own in February which we've had those already and the, the other two uh, under Leeds United under 23 games was going to be our main in income stream and we haven't got that now so we are really really struggling and finally how's the team taken to the situation they're obviously worried and concerned um, but they're, they're going to uh, to battle on on the pitch and hopefully get three points for us. Thank you very much, Andy. Cheers, mate.